Use code SPIKEFEEDERS for 5% off at facetofacegames.com. You can shop face to face games in US dollars, Canadian dollars, or even euros, and they'll ship just about everywhere. That's code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at facetofacegames.com to help support the show. What is up, Spikes, Spikeettes, Sp- Spikeroonies, Spikety Doos? Mm. I'm Elliot. This is <laughs> Alex. Uh, we're back in the studio here today with Tori and Lua from the Sky Babies, our wonderful guests for the uh, weekend. Uh, and we're playing another casual game today. I've got a, a love project of mine. Uh, this is the Mimeoplasm. It is, uh, you, if you've been playing Commander uh, for as long as I have, it is like an old, ancient, you know, uh, old crones tell you tales of, of how terrifying this deck is and that kind of thing. Uh, I like to kind of play it like uh, monster of the day kind of style. Uh, lots of self mill, not so much in tomb uh, st- type effects. Just like, what can we make? What kind of big nasty ooze can we create today? So that's my plan. Oh, you're really good at creating big nasty oozes. Hi everybody, my name's Alex, and today I'm gonna to be playing Kelsey and the Plague. Uh, it's a deck where I'm focusing on getting Death Touch onto Kelsian so I can ping one thing a turn, build it up, and win through Voltron damage. No oozes necessary. Tough. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today I am going to be Tori in the House of the Dragon and be playing Kalia of the Vest, casting mostly demons, dragons, and angels. Um, I had to make the plan. I just died. That's great. That was was great. Mm -hmm. I look like Damon with no makeup on. It's pretty sick. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, uh, this is my favorite deck. It is the deck that births my name, and I love it so much, and I'm excited to show it to everyone. Oh, is that what that's from? That's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just learned that right now. Well, it was Why of the vast it? wilderness where I came from. Oh, I was a, see, that's what uh, I thought. child, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're from Kansas? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> we love Kansas so much. Yeah. I know Kansas City is in Kansas. Also in Missouri. Yeah. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, Actually, that's in Oz, in, not in Kansas. But, like, oh, but she's not in Kansas like, anymore. See, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, big plays. All right. <laughs> this is the best intro that's yeah, ever been on the channel. Actually, this is better than average. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's been really fun. Uh, my name is Louis Sardis. I'm going to be playing Yuriko. Um, casual Yuriko, which doesn't exist because she's very strong. Uh, I'm just going to make as many ninjas, ninjutsu as possible. And then I'm just hoping to uh, flip some big spells off the top of my library to take everybody out. But I think you guys are doing cool stuff, so I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, And with that, I think Tori is the one that won the die roll today. No? You won? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. (laughs) I'm so excited. Okay. So please start us off. I shall. You draw for turn. How have we ever gone? I'm going to play a spectator seating. I am a spectator sitting here. Uh, I'm going to pass turn. Okay. Sounds good. Casual (laughs) match. I'm going to. No rush three turns. (laughs) Battle cruising. I'm going to take two life because I'm playing a watery grave. Mm -hmm. 38. So watery. Uh, with my watery grave, I would like to put out, my cards are upside down, a ginger brute. Ooh. It is a 1-1 one, one with haste, little buddy. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not like on ad nauseum, right? We're playing games. Yeah, this is, you know, this is just fun with friends, you know? With all due respect to my bestie, your Kalia is so scary, I will swing a 1-1 one, one with haste at you. I will take it. All right. Sounds good. Both at 39. That's We're some, winning, Alex. I'll say that's some deep-seated fear over there. <laughs> well, I'm at 38. Oh, yeah, I can't do math. Yep, yeah. all right. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw for my turn. I love this deck. I love casting these <laughs> stupid cards. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a basic swamp. Yeah. Pass to my that's friend. That's the stupidest of cards. Man. Why it's not it? even an island. <laughs> it's a really stupid Lorwyn foil. That's for I sure. I love a swamp ass. I don't want to yeah. I'll play a planes. We'll cast Esper Sentinel. Ooh. Seems what? good. And I will pass the turn. It's okay. Everybody's playing creatures, right? Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to tap two and put out a swivel oh, boots. Would you like to pay one? No, I can't. <laughs> this is already doing more work than Jim's from that one time. Mm. <laughs> I have no money. Mm. 
All right. Susie. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Is that the, what's your Italian dick? Hey, Arnold. Rocco. Right? Yeah. yeah. Rocco. <laughs> no. Having a moment. Oh, oh, yeah. No. All right. We Apparently. told Sheldon to yell at us again. Yeah. <laughs> I live to hurt myself because of marsh flats that I will crack to go get some kind of swamp. Well, I will put out a swamp, a basic swamp, and I would like to swing mm. my one one hasty. I want it to be at Alex, but I'm scared you're going to block it. Here's the thing, Lou. I don't yeah. think he wants to lose that. I will turn. always block, Lou. except when I won't, which is now. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's swing this one again. But guess what? It's a surprise! <gasps> because I'm ninja too. It was secretly a ninja the whole it time. It will still be one damage though. Yeah, so you still <laughs> take the one, but then we got uh, a little ninja trigger over here. All right. What is it? Everybody take two. A bale oh from yeah. Strix. Yep. All right. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to discard to hand size. Wow. Life is hard. It is so difficult being me. We're going to put my ginger brew in the graveyard. Oh, interesting. Yep. We don't get free information about a card in her hand anymore. No. Nope. Mm. Tragic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will draw for my turn. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I will play a Lanoir Wastes. Mm. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to pass the turn. You, you know, I was kidding about that No Rush 3 thing, right? Hmm? You're, you're, you're the one that played the Esper Sentinel, my guy. I'm just saying you're allowed to attack. I like, you know, with play. my Lanoir waste. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Attack you. Yeah, I'll take none. Oh. Yeah. That, that doesn't have any power. Okay. Or toughness. Actually, sacrifice it. Anyway, Godless Shrine, take two. <laughs> uh, see, he took two anyway. Lanoir wastes. 35. Successful. Uh, first main phase. One, two. Is Avon Squire. Ooh. Flying Exalted. Yeah. Uh, Lua, take two. <gasps> me yeah. seems suspicious. I just wanted you to also be at 35 with me oh, so we can match. 35 yes, club. Oh. And we'll pass. Okie dokes. Eh, this isn't the worst. I'm going to tap two and I'm going to play a talisman of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. uh, Esper Sentinel trigger. Uh, I will not pay one. Awesome. Disaster. I am going was the to. Worst. Pass the turn. All right. So we're going to mm. go ahead and cast a reanimate. Ooh. Would you like to pay the one for Esper Sentinel? Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can. Oh, I love unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I could have, but it's okay. Mm. I didn't need to. Uh, and I will just put this ginger brute back out and I will lose a life. Lose a life for the, the brute. But don't, it doesn't stop there, folks, because I'm going to lose another. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I just need to fetch a land because I'll have our fetches. Ah. So I will crack this to go get another swamp. Okay. So I'll put this swamp out. Um, then I will go ahead and tap this, put out a ponder. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to look at the top three cards in my library and I can put them back in any order. Card. So let's draw this one. Put that here. Okay. Um, I'd like to go to combat. You may. I'm going to swing at both of these at Elliot. Seems reasonable. Okay. I will go, or uh, no blocks. Yeah. Any no shenanigans this no turn? No shenanigans this turn. Okay. I will go um, to 36. One ninja did attack, though. Mm -hmm. Here we go, so, trigger. Everybody takes five. Whoa. Oh. 30 for me. 32. 31 for me. That seems like a problem. That's a good one for sure. Seems okay. Mediocre at it's best. It's a good card. Um, three, six, seven. Okay, I will pass the turn. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to keep this free fall of my life going here. Uh, take pain off of this Lanoir Wastes. Go to 30. I'm going to try to cast a Grizzly Salvage uh, would you uh, like in your no. end step to pay the one. I'm not paying the one, uh, so you can draw a card. And then this is reveal the top five. I may put a creature or land from among them into my hand and the rest into my graveyard. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we did just see the Forest of Will, you know, that's Yeah, all. I mean, you're a little bit away from casting the commander, <laughs> so. Uh, so I've got an Elvish Mystic, a Frantic Search, a Flooded Strand, a Golgari Grave Troll and an Inkwell Leviathan. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I will put the 
yeah, I will put the flooded strand, the land, uh, into my hand, and the rest of these into the graveyard. That's so unlike your deck to do that. Mm, interesting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got to untap here. Uh, and then I've got a, a little thing to replace my draw step with. Mm -hmm. It's a Golgari Grave Troll. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mill the top six cards or dredge them. or uh, It's probably probably been mill now, right? Mm, you're the judge. What? Uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. We got uh, a couple lands, a Dihada's Ploy. Uh, that, that card's got Jump Start, so I can cast it from my graveyard. Uh, a Life from the Loam, which is another dredge card, and a Consuming Aberration, which might be pretty large. Mm -hmm. You know, impossible to tell. Really. I kind of forgot Jump Start was a mechanic and not just a set. Mm -hmm, both. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this Golgar Gear Troll will go to my hand instead of me drawing for the turn. I will play this Flooded Strand mm -hmm. as my land for the turn. Would you like to pay one? Don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, would you like to pay one life to go fetch? Mm. Don't Got talk em. to me. I'm just going to pass the turn mm. again. Oh. Nothing suspicious going on over here. Yeah, no, nothing Definitely. suspicious whatsoever. I've never been suspicious in my whole life. Well, you've been a little bit suspicious sometimes. Elliot Benton. <gasps> <laughs> She's lying. Play a no bad outpost. Mm -hmm. Tap one, two for a sigiled paladin. So first strike exalted creature. Oh my goodness. Do you like exalted? I, I, so just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's maybe it. like one of my favorite mechanics of all time. We're gonna go to combat. Mm -hmm. Avon Squire is going to attack Lua. That seems wrong. Hear me out. I'm willing to listen. Anybody but me. Oh. Uh, counterpoint, right. you have the most life. And now you have just as much life as everyone else. Oh, what is it? 30. 30, <sighs> taking three. Look at me. Yeah, 30, 30, 30. Now Tori's on the throne. Oh, damn. Mm. Yeah. The Iron Throne. Oh, mm, hey. like the other thing. <laughs> yeah, from, from the movie. It's uh, like the movie. That's the, the name, name of the movie. We'll discard this planes in our end step and pass. All right. And that's <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start out with a silly little Tormod's Crypt and crack that to get rid of your graveyard. Tough. Would you like to pay one? No. Oh, fair. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, um, yeah, I guess. Am I responding? Oh, this one's an instant, but it doesn't do what I want it to do. Oh, I've never seen that. You never seen a Thorn <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, that's fine. My graveyard will get exiled, and I will be sad. <laughs> For my next trick, I'm going to pay black. Take one. Mm -hmm. 31. Still on the thing. I am going to cast a Dark Ritual. Okay. Danger alert. Oh. No. Oh. Love you. Um, can I make a recommendation? Yes. Instead of countering Dark Ritual, wait until she casts. No, Kong. it already happened. Uh, all right. That's the name happened. of the movie. That's okay. I would normally wait for Kelly, but that's all right. Uh, I'm going to lose a life. Mm -hmm. uh, 29. Okay. Okay. It would have been all your mana done. That's okay, but I would rather let you do something else if you want to. I cannot, so I'll pass. Okay. Cool. Cool. cool, cool. Oh, um, hmm? Do you want to pay one? Um, oh, I, yeah, I will, will pay the one for Force Well. I knew that's what I thought you were going to ask, and then I got distracted by the other stuff. <laughs> all right. I also got distracted by the other stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff happening. There mm -hmm. was. Stuff do be happening. We will go to combat. Yeah, both at Elliot. Sounds good. Ooh. I am not blocking. Or the two, rather. Two. And then I'm going to do a flip. Mm -hmm. So I go to 28, and then yes. we got a Yuriko trigger. Okay. It's just three. Ooh, Ooh, Kaito. I do like Kaito. I do like Kaito, too. Um, let's do... I think the correct thing here to do is play a Rhystic Study. Ooh, Ooh, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to respond to it, go because ahead. my instant is a little better without this Rhystic Study resolved. So yes. I'll uh, start with cracking this fetch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to 24. Off of my Flooded Strand, I'm going to get an Underground C. Mm -hmm. uh, and then still with the Rhystic Study on the stack, I'm going to cast... It's basically just Grizzly Salvage, but it's Forbidden Alchemy. Uh, so I'm going to look at the top four. Uh, I don't have to reveal them this time. And I get to put any card into my hand. So for your Esper Sentinel trigger, would you like to pay the one? No. Uh, what about for your Esper Sentinel? Hers is on the stack. Yeah, oh, that's fair. <laughs> Look at the top four. Yeah. Mm. 
Would you be shocked if I said I will not pay it? Then? I wouldn't be. Okay. I'm, I'm going to wait until he's done yeah. so he doesn't get mad at me. He's a judge. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to, oh, I don't even have to reveal it. I'm going to put this card into my hand Almost and started. Overgrown Tomb Bayou Arbor Elf into the graveyard. Rough. Yeah. Nice Bayou, though. Thanks, pal. You're welcome, pal. I'm going to draw that card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will. And then I have no further effects to the Ristic Study. Resolves. You got, it. you got a Ristic Study. That's cool. That's it. Okay. Uh, I will untap. And draw for my turn. Uh, I'm going to play a tapped breeding pool mm -hmm. and then uh, taking a damage off of this Lanoir Wastes down to 23. I'm going to cast a Wood Elves for the turn. Ooh. Um, I am not paying for the Ristic Study. Okay. Uh, any effects? Cool. My Wood Elves is going to get a basic forest. Uh, and I'm not doing anything else with that, so pass the turn. Okie dokie. We're going to untap upkeep and draw. I have entirely too many cards in my hand, I think. Must be nice. Yeah, it is. We'll play the Swamp. And we'll tap one, two, three for Kelsey and the Plague. Yep, yep. And we'll pay the one for Ristic Study. Wow. Nice. Such. High roller, that's for sure. We'll attack Kelsey and into Lua for mm -hmm. four. Yep. Uh, Lua go to 25. Four Kelsian damage. Four Kelsian indeed. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why do I have so many? Oh, right. <laughs> Asper Sentinel. Yeah, he's pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, it's silly little one drop. Yeah. Just, just a little guy. Just a little dude. Just a little guy. Uh, we are going to discard three cards. A swamp. A Plains and a Rakdos Ick Spitter. Oh, you just don't need lands, huh? Yeah, That'd be, be really nice. cool. I, I would donate them if I could. Very fun. I just can't. Uh, good luck drawing one, though. Pass. That's what I put over 630. I'm like, maybe I'll get a land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> land? No. Oh. But it's okay. I drew one of my favorite cards in Magic. I'm going to pay a white, and I'm going to play a Weathered Wayfarer. Ooh. Ooh that's good. Big fan. It will also help you... Get lands. It will. Yeah, well, very cool. That little guy is going to go digging through for some lands. <laughs> um, He's going to Wayfarer Weatheredly. Yeah, it's sure. got summoning sickness, though. So no, you could, if you're not going to cast anything else, can't that tap for Arena? So you can. Yeah, you, him you can boot him. Tap him. Boot it into Booter Drive. Can I do it while I play it? Also. Uh, he doesn't have haste unless you equip him with the boots. Oh, you're right. I can give him. You know before what? you do that, do you want to pay for Ristic? No. Okay. <laughs> we'll give him haste. That way I can activate his silly little thing. Yeah. Sounds good. Taking one. 27. All right, Mr. Wayfarer. Do your job. Okay, so off of the Weather Wayfarer, I'm going to get a swamp, put it into my hand. Um, and I did not play a land for turn, so I <gasps> will play the swamp. Oh my god. Shopping. What a and combo. I will then pass the turn. <laughs> Lou's got a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on, a lot Not of things. Not really, Bestie. I, I will tell you, though, I did get a land. Oh, that's a good Ooh. one. Finally. <laughs> Let's do a combat. That's, yeah, that's good. checks out. Why does everybody have some? Oh, Tori doesn't. Okay, Tori, <laughs> I would like to swing my gingerbread and my Yuriko at you. Okay. Uh, before... I don't know how you say. I'm gonna need jutsu. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. In response to announcing no! jutsu. Oh, oh. What wait, are you doing? is that how that works? I'm going to blow up Ginger Brute. Hold on. Whoa. You're gonna kill this little guy, my savior. Yes. That's so sad. It, yeah, mostly. How are you blowing it out? Uh, with Kelsian's ability, that allows me to deal one damage to target creature I don't control. Wow. Look at that. Wow. He's dead. Oh, dead guy. I'm yeah. taking how much? Uh, uh, just the one from One from Yuriko. 26. Okay. And we then... We still get a trigger, though. Here she comes. Yeah. Just this a one. walking down just the street. Just a command tower. Oh. That's stinky. Oh, mm. so I get to ruin my fun. Uh, that's what I'm here for. It's I just fun ruin ruiner. things. Okay. I get rid of things. So we'll play a Demir Infiltrator, the thing that is totally not a ninja. And then I will... I have to do this. Yeah, I will play a Baleful Strix. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, you draw a card for the Strix. Mm -hmm. I will draw a card. Cool. And then I have to go to discard. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get rid of a Nashi Moon Sage Scion and a 
I almost said forest. We're not playing an island in past. <laughs> a forest yep. in my blue black deck. Yep. I'll also use this uh, die on Kelsian to mark my experience counters since it gives plus one plus one per experience counter anyway. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, I will untap and draw for my turns. Cool. Oh, I like that card. Do you? Mm -hmm. This is a good card? Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, I will play. Lightning Greaves. Ooh. I would like to move to, oh yeah, not paying for the Esper Sentinel, unfortunately. What about the Rhystic Study? Not paying for the Rhystic Study either. Jeez. Oh, we're having fun with friends over here. <laughs> I mean, Lou and I are having fun. We're yeah. having some fun, I think. Uh, I'm going to try to suit up the Wood Elves. Approved. Uh, also, I'm going to do this like this for absolutely no raisin. Not even from California? Pass. I don't really like raisins like that. <laughs> Draw a card. We'll play Sacred Foundry. Take two. Go to 25. We'll tap one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Uh oh. Everybody in the house. I'm sorry, continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, with respect to Mambo number five, this is Ankle Shanker. <gasps> I Ace. approve of Ankle Shankly's. Uh, and I would like to move to the Shanklin. Well, before you do it, may oh. I draw a card? Oh, sure. True, true, true. Yeah, good point. Mm. Yes. yes. Changes absolutely nothing. Go ahead. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, in the interest of changing things quite precipitously, I would like to move to attacks. Mm hmm. Uh, Sigiled Paladin and Ankle Shanker at Elliot, Esper Sentinel and Avon Squire at Tori, and finally Kelsian at Lua. Whoa. How much? Uh, for you, it's two. Okay, 24. And how much does that mean? Uh, it'll be a total of three. Okay, three, and I have the commander range already. Right? Yeah, so 22 for Lua, seven Kelsian, 24 for Tori. 24 for Tori, and if oh, you don't... Taking four. Four if you don't want to block. 20 to me. Uh, and Alex is at 25, or...? 19 for me. 19. 19 for you. 19 for me. And I'm at 25, yes. All right, we got it all figured out, folks. Except for what I want to do next, which I believe is pass the turn. Okay. Uh, interestingly, uh, that all happens in first strike damage. True. All right. Um, I'm going to do the thing. I'm gonna pay one. Actually, I don't have to pay one. I can usually have all my money. Cool. I'm going to cast Kalia. Unfortunately, I don't have an extra mana to give her haste. I but can draw. Yeah, mm. you can draw. But she's here. She's ready. She's gonna go off soon. Go ahead. I love the threatening aura. Uh, <laughs> aura. Yeah. I love the threatening aura of a Kalia in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I will draw for turn. Besties. What's the vibe, bestie? The vibe, bestie, is this command tower that I drew before. Oh, we knew about that. Yeah. yeah. And then the vibe is going to combat. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Alex. Yes. Love you. Oh, I love me, too. All right. Um, let's see here. No blocks currently, but actually one block currently. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> He's kind of big. Hmm. Mm. I already said the thing. Oh, you can you can not attack with the Yuriko if you want. Hmm. I or guess attack I... it somewhere else. Because it's a ninja. I don't have to attack with the Yuriko. Okay. Yeah. I thought you had everything happen that has vigilance. It sure does. Do we have a vigilance? Oh, well, so if that's the case, I can't block. Okay. Um, so I will send those. Mm -hmm. And then I will surprise everybody with a crazy trick called Ninjutsu. Putting this back in and a Ninja of the Deep Hours. I will pay two. Ingenious Dance Betrayer. Oh, oh no. So, so this one is um, you draw I have a draw a card, card and, and then this is, is also a draw, draw card. card. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. Um, so four. Four damage. Four Go damage. to 21. All right. And two off the top. We're just going to do the flips first. Flips first. Flips before draws. Flips before draws. Sounds good. You get two of them. Two for everybody. Mm hmm. Five for everybody. Oof, to seven total. I got a Wish Cloth Talisman and a Misdirection. Uh, so I go to 12. Alice goes to 14. Tori goes to 17. 17? Yeah. Wowie, zowie. I and have then... more room on my paper, so I'm just going to have to tell me this later. Uh, and then I draw um, two cards. So it's actually it's one. draw, 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 draw. Because <laughs> he triggers for both of them. 
Does he? Yes. It is whenever a ninja you control deals combat damage to a player. So draw, draw three. A card. So you draw for him, draw for him off of the ninja, and then draw for the ninja. Okay. That's a lot of cards. Yeah, me, I, I me don't Me and Tori over here are playing these. fair magic. Yeah. Everybody else drawing a bunch of cards. You shouldn't do that. I'm playing my free con. <laughs> <laughs> I played a land for turn. Uh, let's put out a Moth Dust Changeling. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to discard. I drew a lot of cards, so we'll try to be quick about it. Give me one second. Only slightly longer than one second later. Okay. I'm going to discard uh, Wish Claw Talisman, Rogue's Passage, an Island, Kaido, Fallen Shinobi, and I'll give you a Gang Shinobi. So a lot of stuff. And you still have seven cards in hand. I that. still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Brutal. Oh, pass. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I'm cheating now. I need to do this in your end step, yeah. which is before you discard. Yes. But that, you, you, don't talk to me. <laughs> okay. I'm not paying for the Esper Sentinel. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying for the Ristic Study. Mm -hmm. uh, the modes that I would like to choose are draw two cards, then discard a card. Okay, so I'm still have to discard two. Yeah, things. discard another one. I will draw two. And I will discard the Golgari Dra Joljari Drave Troll. Joljari. Joljari Drave Troll. Is this like a combo? I'm just trying to dredge six. Uh, it sounds like a combo. Yeah. Baleful Strix will be in the graveyard. I don't want to draw any more cards. <laughs> sounds good. Pick. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to untap. I don't want to draw any more cards is not words I expected to hear. <laughs> well, you know, I agree with that, but at some point I might draw my whole library. <laughs> yeah, and everything. Uh, you know, it's going yeah. for sure. Um, I, however, am not concerned about drawing cards either because I'm going to dredge six. Uh, I've got an extract from darkness, a dark war pathway, a morphic pool, a caustic caterpillar, a rejuvenating springs, and a windswept heath. You were saying something about wanting a bunch of your lands in your graveyard, right? Yeah, more lands in the graveyard. Perfect. Uh, put this Golgar Gartrol into my hand. And then uh, I will play this Cabal Coffers. Oh. Uh, it's currently not even mana neutral. Uh, it currently does nothing. I only have two swaps. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to cast Golgari Grave Troll. Yeah. Uh, four and a green. Uh, it's going to come into play with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each other. Nope, each. He's not in the graveyard. Uh, which is two. Hmm. So this is a nice five mana two, two. Uh, put the boots on the troll. Never sense. Okay. Sounds good. Pass. In your end step, I will activate Kelsian to destroy the Changeling. Hear me out. Sure. Do you have any flyers? Yes. So you just want Kali to come at me? You brought us all to like the teens. Well, I'm just mm -hmm. I'm just <laughs> trying to think of where Kali is going, and now I will not have a response <clears throat> to a Kalia. And I'll get an experience counter and untap. I wonder where Kali is going. Isn't that <laughs> silly? It's just a silly little game. We'll take two from a Blood Crypt. Mm -hmm. Go to 12. Ooh. Alex is, likes living life on the edge. It's true. I sometimes cut myself on it, and it's unfortunate. Sharp edge. Yes. And we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. Not paying for Ristic Study. Uh -oh. To cast Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. It's a vampire rogue with flying death touch and haste. Other creatures you control have death touch, and whatever a creature I control deals combat damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker on a 4 4 body. All right, we're going to move to combat. Ankles Shanker and Sigiled Paladin are going to Ankle Shank at Tori, Sigiled Paladin at Elliot. Uh, Zagris and Kelsian are going to attack. Lua. Okay. Um, two. It is how much now? Uh, it'll be four plus four is eight. Okay. I just meant for your commander. Oh, yeah. yeah Consider mm -hmm. my ankle shanked. Uh, I will block. With my with my Bulgari Grave Troll. <laughs> oh, I messed up. No, yep. it's a it's a first striker. Yep. So you don't lose your guy, but my Golgari Grave Troll yep. dies. Yep. No, that that's the that's the part that messed up. That's that's the part I like. Uh so eight damage to Lua puts to fourteen, yeah? Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh Tori goes to fifteen. Mm -hmm. And Elliot takes nothing because he's a dirty, dirty blocker. After all that combat and damage, I'm gonna go ahead and pass a turn. Yay! It's my turn. Fourth land. Fourth land. Fourth land. Hell oh, yeah, baby. Oh, and now for fifth land. True. 
Okie dokie. Well, first things first, I am going to tap this for a colorless. Mm -hmm. Do equip the boots to color. Should I do it? I, I think. I think you have to. I have to? Well, but Tori's had such a bad game so far. Uh, what's, what's, what's one demon going to do? Also, it's the Yuriko for me, you know? Yeah. Do whatever you want. I don't care. I have blue spells for oh. Kimmering in here, but, uh, uh -oh. Oh. you know, mostly it's just for Alex. I have a vendetta with Alex today. That, 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 that does make <laughs> yeah, sense. Yeah. We, we have been feuding. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, Elliot? I'm going to let it go. I pass priority. Yeah. Okay. The boots are on the Kalia. They're made for walking. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's just what they're going to do. Um, these boots are going to walk all over Lua. Yep. I'm going to swing Kalia at you. Yep. Kalia's trigger. I'm going to play a Rune Scar Demon. Yeah. Seems bad that we let this happen, everybody. So you're going to take eight. Yeah, I know. I'm going to look for a card. I'm going to pass after that. Okay. Okay, so 12, 12, 15, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Clay land for turn. Mm -hmm. It's an island. Is land. Uh, let's tap two to put out a scroll rack. Ooh, that's Ooh. pretty good. That is a good one with your um, Would you like to pay the one for Esper Sentinel? I think I can. Give me one second and I will tell you. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Okay. Sounds good. Then I will pay one and tap scroll rack. Mm -hmm. How many cards would you like to put aside? We'll put three. We'll put these three. Okay. Draw three. One, two, three. Send both at Tori. It's a two, three, and a two, two. You want to just say no blocks, I think. I think what I would like to do is crack this in response. Okay. Yep. Reasonable. 14. 14. All right. So I got myself a planes. I got myself. I'm going to respond by tapping four. Okay. And utter ending Yuriko. Mm. Oh. I'm going to counter spell that. Okie dokes. Okay. Okay. Brutal. Yeah. Just actual factual, too. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, are you paying one for the Ristic study or the Esper Sentinel? Yeah, are you paying for no, the No, I'm not. I'm not paying for the Esper Sentinel. So can I take four and go to ten. Uh, you don't oh, have it's to a May trigger, the... right? I don't have to draw. Yeah, right. Okay. I, don't yeah. Have to. I was going to say as well, you don't have to pay for the Esper Sentinel because it's your turn still. Yeah, and I already drew you cast Oh, the I'm sorry. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have to pay for that. And then, no, no. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, um, Tori to 10 yep. and two Yuriko triggers. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. All right. Whiff. Whiff. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be five and then it, ooh, another five. I'm dead. Oh. Yep. So, that 10. Is 10. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to two. I go to two. Yep. Uh, Tori goes to zero. Okay. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, those don't go in my graveyard. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, they go right in there. They go to my hand. And then I have draws, correct? Yes, three, you have three, three of, them. of them. Okay, one, two, three. We're in trouble. I think so. Okay, I got to go to discard, so I will keep one. Discarding a Ninja of the New Moon, Throat Seeker, Demir Infiltrator, and a Island. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Well, this reanimated in my hand looks a little worse when I'm at two life. Um, it doesn't look awful though. Well, if you get something with like, you know, one life. I could get, yeah, I could get something that costs one, I guess. Like this Arbor Elf. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm still going to be greedy. I'm going to try to dredge this Golgari Grave Troll. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got... Lands. Uh, oh, we got an Impervious Great Worm. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, which is a 16-16 Indestructible. And then there's a Slow Gurk, the Over Slime. <laughs> Uh, and that's the only creatures. Yeah, wow, that must be awful. Yeah, tough, tough for me. This Golgar Grave Troll will go to my hand. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm going to cast the Mimeoplasm. Okay. Uh, as it enters, so it works like a clone, right? So I have to pick yeah. things before it ETBs or something? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. 
I would imagine you're going to pick the big 16-16. Yeah, so it, it's going to try to be a 16-16 indestructible. Okay. And then uh, what is the largest creature in anybody else's Cord graveyard? I've got a three. Okay. I've got a one one. I got a six three. Six three. For for the thing, right? Yeah. yeah. The biggest end of five four. That's what I got. Okay. So I will exile whatever the six uh, power creature Mimeo. is. So my Mimeoplasm is going to be a sixteen sixteen indestructible uh, with six plus one plus one counters on it. So how big is it? Sixteen. It plus is six? twenty two. Uh, twenty two. You have haste? With indestructible. Well, I'm going to attempt to uh, give it Shroud and Haste. <laughs> yeah, so so the, the boots go on the slime. Mm -hmm. uh, That's so scary. And then I'm passing the turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, Are you sure you don't want to swing with your Wood Elves? I'm certain. Okay. Yes, definitely. I'll activate Kelsian to destroy the Wood Elves. Oh, Wood Elves down. Yeah. Then we'll untap. Um, hmm. Oh, you're at two. Never mind. We're fine. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Nothing's wrong. We'll play a Luxury Suite as land for turn. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just move to Declare Attacks. Mm -hmm. um, please don't Aether Spouts me, Lua. I don't want to get Aether Spouts. Uh, Zagris at Elliot mm -hmm. for lethal and everyone else at Lua. Hopefully for lethal. Okay. Um, total is how much? Uh, five... Game? Uh, seven, nine, uh, ten, eleven. Okay, so if I block your commander, the remaining damage is six. Six. That is lethal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I. Uh, this was what I had. Oh, okay, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if there would have been a flyer in a graveyard, you probably could have been on Cray. Um, I guess in theory, yeah, maybe. I, I didn't don't know. Have a I didn't have a way to give a trample. Yeah, trample would have been good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am. I am dying here. It. All right. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to like cast a spell beforehand? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in response to uh, trying to win the game, I will cast this Enlightened Tutor. Oh, are you paying for the Ristic Study? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> good game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good whoa. game. What would have been the next flip? Some Ooh. lands. Oh, Ooh, there, there it is. That's, that's, <laughs> I, I honestly thought we were dead to uh, those double uh, so, scroll racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, I only had the tens in my right. hand, and I was trying to see because my hand was a little bit funky. Um, I had the two mana for a counter spell, but I was hoping that maybe I could get something else out and swing for a third trigger to make something else bigger. But I did right. not have it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I Yurko's. Pretty good, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, that put on a clock for yeah. sure. This game went like life total changes so frequently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Mimeoplasm just bottomed all of its lands? Yeah, yeah. I, I milled a bunch of lands. I had, so like the first dredge was like pretty cool. And then Tori had a Tormod's Crypt, <laughs> you know? That was it's the correct play. One. Pro gamer move. It, yeah. it was the correct play for sure. And uh, yeah, it didn't really have much juice after that. Mm -hmm. um, it, it actually, it was funny when you Tormods me afterwards because I was like gonna go pretty hard on that turn. I was gonna like uh, ditch the um, Golgari Grave Troll again to Dihada's ploy and then dredge like the Life from the Loam and the Grave Troll. So oh I would have had like 30 cards wow. in the yard. Yeah. And then they all would have gotten exiled. So with the Rune Scar Demon, I actually went and got to Fairy's Protection, and I was like, "Oh, I need to use the protection, or I gotta try to utter in Eureka for the table." Yeah, and I was like, ah. "For the table," and I'm like, ah, "I should have protected myself uh, yeah. instead. I wrecked myself." Yeah, if you protected yourself, you would have been at how much life? Ten. Ten, and then if we came back around. Damn, you would have been at yeah. good position. Actually, I probably wouldn't have been able to attack. I would have had to have held things up to stop. Yeah. Alia. So that's how. Did you not see my blue mana, or you just? <laughs> Did you just really want to help? I wanted to try to be a, a noble brave little toaster. Yeah. Um, and I'm also mad that I didn't draw like an actual land. I because say because I wouldn't have to take the one. And I would be the aggressive one. amounts of stumbles there, and then getting um, what was it? Dark ritual counter. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was really yeah. rough. I cast five spells. It was a good time. And we yeah. also had you know two. Oh, uh, the Asper Sentinel. Yeah. The, the turn yeah. one Asper Sentinel is pretty cracked in this deck. Um, I, actually, Ankle Shanker coming off the top completely changed the way I was playing the game. Uh, because it was just going to be poking with Kelsian, but being able to get everything through kind of changes the game. Right, yeah, you went from like the exalted 
plan with your first mm. couple of drops there to like just, oh, everything has first strike and death touch. Yeah, it was pretty good. It's pretty cool, pretty good. Well, things that are also pretty cool and pretty good are the scry babies. <laughs> That's right. Uh, new channel starting up uh, right around now, I imagine. If mm -hmm. this is coming out and you're seeing this, you should go check it out. Where can they find you folks? You can. Well, let Lua. No, go ahead. You started. Go ahead. <laughs> you were like, and I was like, oh, no. No, no, you're good. Uh, you can find <laughs> us on Twitter at ScryBabiesMTG, which has links to our YouTube. Um, you can also find us on Patreon, where we have our lowest tier at just one US dollar. Yeah, so to talk about our Patreon. I was just gonna say you can find our link tree somewhere because it's, it's not. I was about to say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no longer on. Um, yeah, we have a Patreon where we also have a Discord for as low as one dollar, um, and we play games every other Monday with our patrons, and we do all types of fun stuff. So if you want to check this out, then check out Discord. Yeah, and our Patreon. Yeah, please go over there and check them out. We've had a lot of fun having Lua and Tori around here uh, this weekend, so I've had a lot of fun. How have you had a lot of fun, Elia? Tons of fun. Yeah. How have I had a lot of fun? <laughs> well, I thought you might have used code SpikeFeeders at checkout at face-to-facecegames.com uh, to save 5% off your order. He was setting me up. I really did. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't even take it. Yeah. I fumbled the bag, for sure. You fumbled the bag. Yeah, that's what they say in football. Mm -hmm. In any case, uh, you can go over to face-to-facegames.com, use code SpikeFeeders to save 5% off your order. Helps us, helps you, helps everybody involved, except for face-to-face -face games who's just giving money away. So go take it from them. In any case, if you want to join our patron, it's also a dollar. We also sometimes play games with patrons, but uh, we're just spike feeders. We're not a cool baby. So. You know, <laughs> if you've got two U.S. dollars, maybe split them up. Yeah, you yeah, bought worse nice. for two bucks. Come on. Yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. In the meantime, we just want to say thanks again to Tori and Lua, and we'll catch you folks next time. Huge shout out to all of our Patreon supporters, especially all the folks who have come and check out our new Patreon tiers. That's right, we've completely redesigned the tiers for 2023, so if you want new stuff, interesting stuff, or just want to see your name up on this big board of names, head on over to Patreon. Thank you so much for the support and have a great day. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.